Listen, bub, all you gotta do is relax and play the game. I gotta use this gig to catapult me to superstardom. Now the aim of our game is simple, to steal sheep. a series of levels. At each of those levels, you will have to steal a sheep from Sam Sheepdog and put it in the goal. If you succeed, you may proceed to the next challenge, and so on, until you finally steal the entire flock. But, and this is a big but, the sheep must be intact at the end of each level. You'll be disqualified if any of these sheep are missing so much as a thread of wool. Have I made myself perfectly clear? Hmm. Okay, don't panic. I 
as a consummate professional, know how important it is to rehearse. This is your big chance, and you don't want to blow it. Besides, I'm the one who explained this game to you, and if you don't do well, how's that going to make me look? Not so good, that's how. So go ahead, practice! didn't work too well. Follow me and I'll explain a few commands. First things first, how to use the camera. I'm right behind you. Just use the L2 and R2 buttons to move the camera. Now I'll hide up here. If you want to find me, keep the inside view button pressed down. Nice going, bub. These commands will come in handy if you want to look around. If you want to follow me, and who wouldn't, use the jump button and just do what I'm doing. If you want to jump higher, Press the button a second time when you are at the highest point of your jump. Works like a charm. <laughs> Might I also suggest you use the jump button to take a flying leap. about a little race. You want to know how to win? When you cross the starting line, you'll get a limited amount of time to finish the race. To do this, press steadily on the run button to increase your speed. If you run fast enough, you'll be able to stay suspended in midair for a short period of time. This will come in handy to get over precipices. Fancy word for cliffs.
probably be able to challenge Roadrunner later in the game, if you're up for it. To help you steal sheep from Sam Sheepdog, you will be given several objects. But wait, there's more. You also gotta know how to use objects in the background. To open the gate, the red button has to be pressed. Just jump on the first seesaw, and the big rock will throw you to the other side. Then, jump on the second seesaw to launch the little rock towards the button so that the gate remains open. Confused yet? Me too. Listen, if you want to get sheep and make a plan, you have to use your inventory. First, press the select button which will show you the level's map and the objects available to you. To get an object, you have to order it by opening a letterbox. If you want to know in which letterbox you have to order a specific object, Select it in your inventory, and a red circle will appear around the litter box, which means it's yours. The objects drawn in white are the ones you can find in the level. The colored objects are those you already collected and can use. And if that's not enough, you can also look at the object's user guide for instructions on how to use it. So come on, try out your inventory and order an object from a litter box. Today, batteries not included. Good for you! Don't forget that to finish each level, you must be in the goal with the sheep. In fact, you have to both be in the goal or the challenge doesn't count. And that would be despicable.
And one more victory! Listen, if you don't want to be seen by Sam Sheepdog, here's some free advice. First, when you see this icon appear, it means that you are close to Sam's area. The icon helps you see where Sam is looking. If it's in front of you, it means that Sam is looking in your direction. When the icon is green, it means that you are close to Sam's area, but the good news is... He can't see or hear you. When the icon is orange, it means that you're in Sam's area, so be quiet and everything will be okay. When the icon is red, it means you're in big trouble, pal, cause Sam saw you and you'd better get out. Your best bet is to press the stealth button. If you don't, Sam will hear you when you enter his area. Farmer Porky, I hear you're trying to steal Shams' flock. Good luck. I grow all kinds of vegetables, and I know Sam's sheep well. For instance, I know you can lead a sheep if you show it some lettuce. If you do this, you won't have to carry them. Come back with your sheep, and I'll show you how to use leafy vegetables. You managed to take a sheep from the flock. Well done. Now, I'll show you how to use the lettuce intelligently. It's the Sam's sheep. You love it. All you have to do is leave some next to its sheep. 
It'll go toward it all on its own to eat it. But be careful not to place your lettuce too far away, or it won't be able to see it. It, it, to know whether you're uh, close enough before it, uh, putting the letters down, it's uh, check whether this icon is uh, 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 displayed. You can also place uh, 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 bits of lettuce all along the uh, path. Uh, the sheep will move from a uh, uh, bit to a uh, uh, bit, uh, but don't place them too uh, uh, far apart. Otherwise, uh, the sheep may uh, stop on the way. Uh, so, uh, don't forget to check for this icon before uh, uh, placing any lettuce. It'll tell you uh, whether it's close enough. Uh, uh, does any of that uh, make sense? Are you uh, uh, following me? Uh, 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 do you get it? Because I uh, uh, don't. <laughs> needs quiet. Quiet!
something new? Well, here's something. If you want to cross Sam's area without being noticed, hide inside a bush. It's easy. This way, you can cross Sam's area, and if he sees you, <laughs> he won't see you at all. <laughs> He'll see a bush. <laughs> it's pure genius. <laughs> Tell you what, I can teach you how to use the bush, and you can practice. Oh, and if you get hungry, don't eat the bush. Okay, listen up. I'll stand watch while you use this bush to try and cross the line without me seeing you. Good luck, bub! for Sam's area. <laughs> if you have any more questions, you can come back to me. I'm not sure if I'll be able to answer them, but you'll have the pleasure of my company.
Okay, time to learn something new. Bushes aren't the only thing that can help you hide. You can use rocks, too. Look at the size of those rocks. Hey, if I were you, I'd hide behind them. Come close on one side of this rock and press the stealth button to camouflage yourself. Tell you what, you can practice with me. Listen. I'll watch over the rocks while you hide yourself behind this one. After you cross the white line, I'll watch carefully to see if you can reach this square without me noticing you. It's up to you now. Ready to take on the sheepdog? If you want some more advice, just come back to me.
Well done! Our contestant is stupendous! Ta-da! Tifi, the enchanting forest self. I can play spellbinding music on my magic flute. Just listen to that sweet melody. If you want to hypnotize a character just like I did, you too can play this song with a magic flute. But you'd better check the magic flute guide to find out which characters you can hypnotize.
Hello, I am one cold duck. Ooh. You there, soldier! You gotta deactivate this mine. It's simple. First, observe the light wave rhythm. When it disappears, approach the mine and press the action button, which will bring up the control panel. Watch for the green light, then observe in which order the buttons light up. Be careful, cause when the light is red, you then have to light the buttons in the same order and at the right time. If you succeed, the mine is deactivated. If you make a mistake by using the wrong button or press at the wrong moment, BOOM! Don't let me down, soldier. Good luck. You'll need it. Quiet. Quiet!
Well done! Our contestant is stupendous!
This is just great. Duck hunting season again. Good thing I'm wearing this Robin Hood disguise so those pesky hunters won't find me. show up. Well, so long as Bugs is here, I might as well have some fun. I hereby declare it to be rabbit season. Let the hunt begin. Thank <laughs> you. 
morning. <laughs> needs quiet. QUIET!
get a load of this. You can hang an object onto the end of the fishing line using the combined feature in your inventory. Just select the fishing rod, then press combine, and choose the objects you want to string onto the end of the hook. If you want to unhook the object, select fishing rod, then press dissociate. It is to laugh. There's nothing funny about blown up duck. By your laughter, I can tell that you disagree. Well, let's see if you think this is funny. I will stop you from playing for about one minute while you consider the error of your ways. Did we learn our lesson? Hmm? That little timeout should teach you to blow me up. But never say I hold a grudge. Back to the game! Thank <laughs> you.
one. Our contestant is stupendous. To dance like us. If you want to be accepted, do what everyone else is doing and just follow the rhythm of the music.
Thank mm-hmm. you.
Hey, you rascally idiot varmint! Get away from my boat! Nobody touches my boat! I may have lost my gold, but I still got my boat. About the only thing I let come near my boat is some walking, talking gold coins. But since there's a no such thing, scram! See anyone on my boat, and that means to you, you sneaking weasel! Dealing with this kind of stuff definitely wasn't in my contract. Can an uninformed duck get some help around here? So what do we do now? Is it okay this way or not? Technically, the sheep has been put inside the goal, and it is inside the goal, so it should be taken into account, shouldn't it? And one more victory for our contestant! Thank you. 
Fantastic! Oop. Our contestant needs quiet. Quiet! If you want to catch the train, press this button to turn the signal red. Then, the next time the train passes through, it will stop here and you can get on. Keep an eye on this chronometer to learn when the train is going to arrive and how long it will stay. And whatever you do, don't go into any tunnels on foot. It's dangerous. When the signal is red, it means that the train will stop next time. If you want to change the color of the signal, press the button next to the signal. The blue chronometer gives you the time remaining before the train reaches the station, and the red chronometer gives you the time remaining before the train leaves. And my chronometer gives me nothing but trouble. I gotta get this thing fixed. Hello?
Unfortunately, our show is nearly over. Thanks to all my fans out there for staying with us through to the end. See you soon. <laughs> What's this? What's Marvin the Martian doing here? This wasn't in the script.
That insignificant little earthling. It looks like that ridiculous creature reached my planet because of a blunder you made. Is that right? Hmm? Well, let me tell you how your friend got here. I was just getting ready to test my latest weapon, the PR-200, a very practical tool which reduces any living species to one-tenth of its normal size. For the experiment, I enlisted the help of a devoted member of my army. I was just about ready to test my invention, when suddenly, an invader smashed into my water tank at full speed, and the whole tank collapsed all over my army. The accursed invader looked like a black sheep. It was utter chaos, but after a super Martian effort and the help of my fantastic PR-200, I managed to get back most of my army. Isn't that delightful? Wait, I haven't finished yet! My army is still incomplete. A somewhat rebellious unit has gotten themselves into a sticky situation, and it's risky to get them out. I, Marvin the Martian, don't plan on taking any unnecessary risks. It's up to you to repair the damage now, by returning to me my lost instant Martians. Come, K-9! Sit, boy! To capture my instant Martians, you'll have to use this vacuum compressor. When an instant Martian comes anywhere near it, activate the compressor with your remote control. The instant Martian will be compressed and sucked in, then sent to me through this pipe. Won't that be lovely? Thank <laughs> you. 
We can board now. Well done. As promised, I'm going to take you back to Earth.
Story.
needs quiet.